If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work in deep. Quick fixes become fads and diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. Still trying to get the technology to play ball. Continue. That's fine. You get look. I can see my magic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a geek. Um, but it brings me joy. Um, just trying to get my headphone to connect. So we don't jump in and out, but it's being a bit irritating. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Action <sighs> rejected. Perfect, she says. It's really weird having me in two places, but never mind. Let me angle that one. So, from here, you can see chest drawers. I need the chair out of the way. Two. Chest drawers and all the tripods I was using to set up. Always the joy of the first one of a new series, um, and it's going to be a different camera setup for every single one. So that's going to be super dope. <laughs> super dope. There we go. We have a drink. Um, first, which one am I going to talk to? Let's talk to this one. Um, so first and foremost, um, we want to be making sure that we have, as much as possible, got the clothes from around the house and things into the space we're working in. We want to try and bring everything together where possible. Now, for me, I have the exception of, I'm not doing shoes today. Um, so we know I've got shoes downstairs. I'm going to shoot shoes separately. This is definitely more than an hour's worth of stuff, but we're only going to do an hour. We, so we won't get to the full finish thing, but it's a step in the right direction. Um, and something you can watch for an hour, hopefully give you a little bit of motivation to get working on the clothes side of things. Um, so I have got two angle cameras set up. Um, this one that I'm talking on now, you can see more of the chest of drawers. And on the other one, you can see more of the wardrobe situation that we've got going on here and i'll give you a a good old proper nosy now obviously i've been declustering my clothing and wardrobe for some time that one always closes itself it's creepy um let's do this um if i need to keep it open um so obviously i've been declustering my clothes for some time and um, though I am not in a massive, massive state. However, there's still more than I would like there to be. Um, I would like to be able to fit my clothes in just my central chest of drawers. So for a long time, my aim was to get it down to fitting in the whole block. So um, if you can see here, I've got uh, two tall skinnies and then the big wide one in the middle. This also includes all of my, um, is that a better angle, sort of? Um, this also includes my hair and makeup and jewellery is all in here as well. So that's more sort of makeup things, that's more sort of hair things, and then one down there is jewellery. Um, and then I have the wardrobe over here, two wardrobes that have all my, well, I know all my shoes, clothes, coats, bags can fit in there. I don't store them all there. At the moment, I've taken my bags out because I'm not doing those at the moment. They're all on one hanger and then a couple in a little basket. Um, I've streamlined those down as much as I'm willing to go. I feel like I've got all bases covered. I'm never going to need to borrow a handbag for anyone else, but I haven't got any excess. So I'm happy with those kind of bags. Um, we do at some point need to like review 
non handbag type bags in this house. I think we have a few extra like travel hold all type bags than we probably need. But um, while we have a big loft, it's not a problem. Um, at some point we do want to downsize and at that point it will become a problem <laughs> and we'll reduce them then. <laughs> um, so well, I can't have that. Uh, it's not uh, a matter of priority at the moment, but I can, I know physically I can fill my clothes in this stuff. And that was my containerization. So that's like using the container concept is where you say, right, it's got to fit within this space and that's going to be my benchmark for what I keep. And um, so that's how I have worked it to date. But now <laughs> I want to reduce things down even more. I'd like to be able to fit my clothes in one side of my wardrobe. Um, however, one side takes longer items and the other side takes shoes. So I need to factor in that. And um, I definitely have a few pairs of shoes I want to get rid of that I will probably pull up today, but I'm not doing a full shoe assessment, bringing all my shoes together. I just know that there's a couple in there that I'm just never going to wear again. Unfortunately, I'm past the big stiletto phase of my life. And... I am either in my bare feet or I want to be able to dance <laughs> is my parameters pretty much. And there's definitely some shoes in there that fall into that category. There are some summer ones that will pack away with summer that I will review next year. But there's some, I'm sure there's some that will be coming out of that to go into my sale pile anyway. Um, so yeah, I want to physically be able to get all my clothes into one side for a season. Um, whereas before, I wanted to be able to fit all my clothes, all my seasons across the two. And then I took out my season ones and what I created was space between items, um, which was uh, really nice. Um, whereas this time I want to be able to get everything into one side for one season. I want to know that I've got half a wardrobe spare. This is actually the only wardrobe we have in our house that's freestanding. Everything else is built in um, and also in a rental. So it's nice to know that if we did move, um, we could fit all our clothes into one. Um, and we actually have an upcycle project wardrobe that could be my daughter's. So in theory, we've got enough wardrobe space to do that. Um, 90 percent of her wardrobe is a den at the moment because she has this massive built in at the moment. Um, so that's that's how I want to set some of my parameters. But I'm also, as part of one of my October goals, wanted to do the challenge, uh, the 333 challenge, which I'll talk about in a minute. And um, so prep wise, having all the clothes or the all of the category you want to be dealing with into one space. So like I said, I'm not doing coats and I'm not doing shoes today. Uh, so that doesn't matter. I will do we're doing a landing station and coat room live. Um, I will do my coats then. Um, will I do shoes then? No, I don't think I will do shoes then. I think there's enough to do in that one. And um, deciding your parameters for how much space you want to have, how much space you want to be taking up is key. I feel like I want to turn to this one for a little bit. <laughs> just for a bit of fun, just to mix it up. Um, so hopefully you can still hear me, she says. Um, the other way is deciding on the actual number of things. So you can either go for space or you can say, I want to have X amount of number of things, um, which is where the 333 challenge, 333 project, I think the original lady called it Project 333. I have downloaded the Kindle book actually, which I will read at some point, but it didn't make it onto my list of 22 books I want to read in 2022. So there you go. Uh, I'll, read it. I'll read it at the end of my own project, which makes sense. So the 333 project is 33 items for three months. So every three months you would redo your wardrobe and um, not like sell everything, but reshuffle it around. Now that could be that you buy some new things in. It could be that you're mixing in seasonal items. Um, a fair amount of my items I'm going to put into storage that aren't in my 333. And we'll talk about that in a minute, as opposed to getting rid of them. However, I'm sure there's some items that I will declutter as well. Uh, but it wasn't long ago that we did in the membership a full clothing declutter and I got, I thought there were only a couple of bits then and I got rid of loads. Um, so I am also doing a year of less and no spend year and I wasn't allowed to buy myself any new clothes. I've been very lucky that I got a few bits as prezzies. Um, so anything new that's come in either as prezzies or um, uh, I did a clothing declutter with a client and she had quite a few bits of like stained t-shirts um, that I was just like, well, can I throw them into my painting pile? So I got a few bits for my painting bits and pieces. And um, then the other one with prepping when you are doing clothes is trying to put on something that you either definitely know you're keeping 
and is quite small or is going. So I've got some just comfy shorts on that I know will be going away with my seasonal stuff because unfortunately it's no longer short weather um, and these are actually more sort of loungewear shorts as well. Um, so they will be going in. Um, the red strappy top, I've worn it for the last two days to just see if it's something I did want to keep and I don't. I just, I have a couple of red bits that I like but I don't know it's just not me and it's going and this is a pajama jumper so I know I will keep this I've had it for so long I've just debobbled it so it's lovely and soft again as well debobblers are amazing um but it's one it takes up very little space so I know I can leave enough space in a drawer for it but two it's uh it's in my pajama section which I'm not going to be counting in my 333 I will do a little declutter but it's not in my 333 so there's that. Um, so a bit more on the Project 333 or capsule wardrobe, if you're thinking of joining in with that idea, is that, yes, 33 items for three months. Um, now you set your own rules, you are your own person, uh, but the general gist of it originally didn't include underwear, pajamas, or um exercise wear but it has to be exercise wear that you wore as exercise wear as opposed to exercise wear that you wore around life to do like the shopping the food shop and stuff um and then some people say it doesn't include lounge wear but i kind of lounge in my pajamas and a lot of my day-to-day -day wear is also quite loungy but it's still my day-to-day -day wear so i don't i don't personally have a lounge wear category i just have so and um, there's that <laughs> it's deciding on how you want to work yours in i do want to reduce down i'm going to take out a lot of my active wear stuff and put it away in my seasonal box and um, not necessarily just seasonal stuff but just to see how much i can reduce it down by and realistically still manage the washing um, and that can be a a good way is if you set up boxes and you label them and you're like if after three months i haven't used this then this stuff definitely can go um, or maybe it is at the end of next summer you will decide whether you've used it or not um, i think we do massively underestimate how tricky clothing can be there is sentimental attachment. I'll give you a good example of this one. This bad boy. I love this dress. I absolutely love the colour. It's jewel. But even you can see in the picture, it's, it's probably a couple of inches of fitting. Um, it's sentimental. But I'm also like, I can't. it's sentimental, but I can't actually, I can't put it in a wardrobe. I like, I'm not going to display it on a wall. It just, it's a lovely block of colour. But it also, no. Um, whereas some sentimental items, if you had some sentimental clothing items, you could turn it into a pillow or you could put it in a frame. So say it had a really cool graphic, you can fold it round and insert, put it into a frame and it could become a piece of artwork. However, I do have every intention of fitting back into this. It does do up. It's got stretch. It does do up. However, the issue are these two and these two I do want to get um, reduced at some point, like it's on my sort of five year goal list. And the other thing with this one, so it could be one of these things that makes you keep an item that you were not gonna wear yet. Um, or it could be all of them like me. So the other one with this one is I just wouldn't spend this much on a dress again. I now have a small human. Uh, this was actually a gift anyway. Um, but um, it was, so part of the reason it's sentimental is it was our first uh, present for our first anniversary, me and my partner. And um, so it's huge sentimental value. I do love it. It looks awesome on. Um, the only thing it's tied over is something that will be getting reduced. It's not even like I need to lose weight for it to do up. It would do up now, but it's just not comfortable. And um, where it's not comfortable is here. Um, but I just wouldn't, I wouldn't replace this. I wouldn't buy another one of these. Um, I wouldn't justify the price when I really want to go and build a cabin in the woods right now <laughs> and I have a daughter and all that kind of thing like it's just not something I want to spend money on again but I would use it so that is one of the examples of where it gets very tricky to be like oh I'm not gonna wear it I'm not gonna wear it anytime soon and it doesn't fit so why would I keep it well there you go that's why because I will fit in it again um, 
And this could be the same, you might not be having things reduced, um, but maybe you lost weight and you're having things increase. So um, maybe you are um, have recently given birth or you're going on that journey. And so you know your body's going to change for whatever reason. And um, whatever reason you've got that means your body going to change, there might be that scope of clothes that you're going to wait until those changes have happened. Um, and But I would get them out of the way, otherwise they just become depressing. I don't really believe in like skinny inspiration jeans I think those are just depressing so that is one of the things that will definitely be packed away so I stop looking at it <laughs> um so there's that uh but within the 333 is meant so some people will include jewelry some people won't I have a very small jewelry collection a lot of it is sentimental it doesn't take up much space I review it every now and again and I'm not going to include that in my 333 either so my 333 is just gonna be like normal outfits going out in the evening outfits that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to block into there and um, also I don't go out in the evenings very much but just so I've got the option or a couple of options um, I'm also not going to include ball gowns <laughs> in mine um, and underwear like we said they don't normally include it in there so but the idea is that you have items that go together that you can mix and match them together so you might only have 33 items but you can actually make up um, different outfits within those 33 so here we go um, First things first is I would make categories if you are, whether or not you're doing the 333 is do categories. If you haven't done that before, categories of the clothing that you need. Um, so most people will need some sort of underwear category. Um, you might have a swimwear category. You might have a pajama category. Like I said, we discussed loungewear. You might choose to have a loungewear category, you might not. Um, fitness wear category. If you have any specific hobbies. So for me, I have um, quite a few bits of painty clothes but I do wear them a lot, I upcycle a lot, I clean a lot. Um, so I am gonna gather those ones together today so that they're all in the same place, but I wouldn't necessarily be dealing with those ones today. We'll see how we get on. Um, normal stuff, a couple of going out bits, um, going out, well, sort of smarter dresses, I guess I'd call them, and um, work, Maybe you have a uniform or you've dubbed yourself a uniform or you have specific clothes that you would only ever wear for work. You might have a work category. Um, and then for me, I have a ball ground category because everyone needs a ball ground category, let's be honest. Um, right, I need a mouthful of drink. Um, that is a lot of talking. So once I had an idea of my categories, I am gonna do a sweep through each of my drawers I'm going to do a quick five minutes blast and just go through each thing and walk how many different things can I grab that can just go. So I've got just the one box today because I knew it would be tight for space. Um, anyone that's decluttered with me before will know I normally do a four box system. So you would have a repair box, particularly useful for when you are doing clothing. Um, I also use my project box, so I can see my project box from here. Uh, so if I find anything that needs repairing, I will put it into my project box. But So a repair box, a relocate box, um, so I know all my clothes and everything live in here pretty much apart from my seasonal. However, I have my seasonal stuff out of the loft, so that can become my relocate box, and nothing else will really go anywhere else. Relocate is within your house. So that's within your home, something that's going to stay within your home, but moving out of the room. Um, Rehome is leaving your home. So that could be donating to charity, that could be selling, any of those things. Um, hi, Clara. There you go. I think she loves that dress. Um, so yeah, that could be any anything that's leaving your home in whatever form, whether you're going to sell it, whether you are going to donate it to charity, that goes into Rehome. And then recycle if things are absolutely beyond. So this would be things like DIY clothing, uh, painty clothing that is now past redemption. And um, that would be going into recycle. And we can recycle a lot of fabrics. Um, be careful with the fabrics like in, here in the UK. Some of them are for clothing only so like clothing that can be reused whereas some of them can take bags so you need to make sure that it says on there that it can take bags and stuff as well um ba -ba -da -ba -da, i do love that dress um i think the last time i wore that dress out was with you claire um so this is going to be my rehome 
books. Um, like I said, my repair box is going to be my project box today. I've got this big box down here that's a lot of seasonal. However, not all of it is my seasonal. I think big, in fact, yeah, 50% of my seasonal box is my partner's big, big climbing coat, which to be honest, I wear more. I look like a big yellow orange in it. I can't remember how to show you now. But it's so warm. It's so warm and it's so snuggly and it makes me happy. It's like walking around in a duvet. Um, uh, it was the night of phone was stolen. Oh yeah, then I, no, no. My phone was stolen when I was pregnant and I definitely didn't fit in that when I was pregnant. Um, that was the night after we went to Tramps. because so I've still got the picture uh, from the train station because um, I think it was the last time I wore it, so I kept it. Um, no, I was pregnant when I got my phone stolen. Um, and we'd been Christmas shopping and that night was the night after tramp so we went to that weird place where people were ordering like you know the little bottles of vodka the flat bottles of vodka with sparklers in you know like people do it with really nice champagne well this club any bottle if you ordered any bottle even the tiny little flat bottles of vodka you got sparkler in it it was really funny um hopefully <laughs> um but yes we love the big yellow coat but that is not, in, even though I wear it, I'm not classifying it as one of mine, because it doesn't matter. Um, so, we're going to put some music on. Um, we are going to have a little five minute sweep of music. Oh, we have something a bit more. Dance pop, apparently. This is classified as, according to StreamYard. Um, if it's going to play, we'll see. In set being a bit dodge. So, we'll take
short but works quite nicely to some of layers so I'm going to relocate that from like my top section to my top piece that I use for soft it and we'll see if it makes Thank 
I'm not sure that it was under the new year this autumn, so it was it's quite big and then I just cinched the belt more based on it came with a skinny belt but I just put a thick belt on with it. And it's just death for you. Yeah. <laughs> Another definite seasonal. Yeah. Really cool, nice old colours. So I've been through, I've done a little sweep, I've done a quick blow of things. Um, I do know I've got a couple of bits that are in the wash, but most of it is here. I think it's predominantly gym kit and like cleaning stuff in the wash. Oh, I have one box I forgot. One box I forgot. Um, this has got like random hobby stuff in. Um, cycle, one step cycle clothes. Yeah, that's not even going to be factored in. Those will go in my work cleaning painty ones. Um, and that can go. I've got enough painting stuff to not have that in my life any longer. Um, so that can go back that one open. Um, just. Okay. Don't take that much on. I'm just gonna leave those there for a minute. <laughs> cool. So I am now going to go into. I've got all the seasonal stuff out. Um, I've got the a few bits that. To be fair, the anything that also falls into that category, like that purple dress I talked about at the beginning, that is sentimental, but also. I will fit in it again type ones then i am going to keep hold of i've got all those they, they tend to be summer ones anyway and um, most of my winter stuff so this is where it gets complicated so it's going to get hard 
hard is to get it down to my 33 items, my 33 items. So braving myself for this one. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take out the empty hangers because often we feel like we have loads more clothes to sort because we have empty hangers in our wardrobe. So having pulled out loads of stuff, let's get rid of these bad boys. Quite a lot in here. Um, and now I've got a skirt there that needs a clip hanger. So put that one back in a second. Right. Boom. See, look at that. All that space. Wasted space. Just in one side. This side, I think I took most of these out as I went, but there was one more there. there. Oh, okay. No, there's quite a lot. So look at all that big space saver. You never know how many's in there. Oh, right. And actually, okay, I left these. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Um, bring those into here so that they will fit and then we're only dealing with one wardrobe and then inside I've got I have my running kit done up ready to go so I can grab and go if I'm going somewhere and I thought I might like to go for a run at the end of it or um I used to do it after gymnastics my partner takes more to gymnastics now and then I have a pair of black ankle boots a pair of over the knee black boots and a pair of under the knee brown boots the over the knee I really like them. And yeah, they have a COVID bubble thing. And um, like I said, I'm going to check shoes just so these are split sole dance shoes they're very cool i keep thinking i'm going to go back to a dance class but it just doesn't ever become a priority and to be honest i like being barefoot most of the time so i think it's time to let these go too there we go uh we're going to go into here these ones i think are going to go so i do love these shoes they are very beautiful they are not very worn and they are just a bit too high for me to wear too much um oh they're like they're secure enough that i would dance in them but they're not low enough that i would dance in them and i have some other black dancing shoes that i absolutely love for so long and because they're michael calls they will sell quite well so I'd rather get rid of these, whereas these bad boys that are just, just amazing. They've got a little platform under here, so they're much lower than they look. They're really secure and they're good for dancing in. They've got extra support in there and I think they were Clarks. They are, they're Clarks, good old Clarks. But those will cause them to go. Oh, I do love these shoes, but, but, you, can, you need to wear tights or socks with them. Socks obviously look stupid. Tights are something that I've actually just thrown all my tights out. Oh, by one, I did keep one pair. These I need to think about. My daughter absolutely adores them. Um, but obviously she doesn't, she's been five, they don't fit her. I need to think about those. I need to have a think. I'm going to take them out. And put them on my windowsill so I can have a think about them. Um, and we got those two. I need to find a way of fixing the repairing the cream nude suede. I'm good at with black suede, but those I really like. They're very comfortable. Um, are they the right size? They're, six, they're a 40, they're a size too big. They've only been worn a couple of times. Let's get those printed and sold. And that's that. Oh. Two pairs of wedges, two pairs of heels, 
another two pairs of heels up here. So it's going to be down here. Having said, I'm not doing shoes. Um, and I keep my one in front of the other so I can see everything I've got in one go. There we go. And they're beautiful. I can even get my little ankle boots in there now. So that later. Um, right, so these are my clothes. <laughs> these are the clothes that we have left. Let's put this one on a hanger. At some point, I'm going to have to get it down to the 33 items, which is freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> um, do remember, you can pop any questions in the comments that I could answer, and I will keep an eye on them. So do you, if you're on replay, you can pop questions in the comments on replay, and I will get back and go through that as well. Um, but, so we've got this one. Right, my next step is going to be unpacking my seasonal. Oh, isn't too bad. And so I'm going to unpack my seasonal box before I start piecing things together. I'm popping those into here. Oh, I need a Christmas party to wear this to. I've never worn it. And it needs a Christmas party, doesn't it? Like it screams, wear me at a Christmas party. I don't really have any Christmas parties to go to, so. Oh, I did want to do a charades party this year. Charades, charades. So maybe I'll wear it for that. <laughs> Big glam for a casual party in your house. Oh, some socks. Thought I was missing a few pairs of socks, so that's good. Pairs of socks to go in. Oh, oh, I need to make a decision on this. I do like this, but it falls into that catchment of it's a bit too tight over the bust. It was my mum's and I had it taken in and I just, oh, it's, it's different, but it's still also a little bit classic. So I am going to keep this, but keep it in storage with the other bits for post these two disappearing slightly. Um, oh. Do love this one is bizarrely flattering and very comfy but we'll see how that goes oh butt enhancing pants so <laughs> i haven't got much of a butt um, and i've got no hips so sometimes instead of having um dresses taken in uh, which is expensive i can just put my butt pants on However, I'm a little bit bigger at the moment, so everything does fit, so it's fine. So I will keep those. They're very useful. <laughs> Not pants. Um, oh, I've got these, these. Um, yeah, I do wear these a lot in the winter. Ooh. Oh, it's exciting unpacking seasonal items. I've forgotten about things. Oh, I love this dress. Oh, love, love, love this dress. This will probably be in my this I can put a little jacket on it and do and wear it for work stuff and I can go out in it and oh and many many moons ago I got this for a night at the Ritz my partner took me to that was just so wonderful so special and I just I just love this dress it's got a really cool layer uh, length to it it's got like goes like a sweepy thing um and it's just such a lovely color I just oh that dress I forgot I forgot oh Unpacking seasonal is so exciting. Um, so exciting. Da -da -da -da. Oh. Oh. Another gorgeous one, but it's not going to be, it's not going to make the 33. I can straight away say that. Um, and it's because it's a bit too tight at the moment. Uh, but again, it's a Ted Baker. I'm not going to buy from them again. At least I'm not going to buy new. It's still like new and I do love it. So it's going to go into the post boot pile. Um, oh, another one that I love. So comfy, so soft, makes me happy. So this, I'm pretty sure, will make the, the 33. There. 
33 is not a bit, big number. I'm starting to panic now. Um, oh. See, I used to live in London. I used to go out a lot. <laughs> and so that's why I have all these fabulous dresses. But that's not going to make the 33. It's not very universal. Um, and it's a bit sad. Um, ah! I'm like the queen of the navy jumper. So many navy jumpers. But I do tend to wear them all. So there we go. Um, another, another navy jumper. I think that makes about five. <laughs> I've got five navy jumpers that I've got. But they are so good. Um, oh, do love this dress. Partner got it for me. Sentimental. Will fit again. Does does fit now. now. Like I wore it while I was pregnant, so it will fit again in a way that I'm happy for it to fit. What are you? Oh, that's maybe top. Bit of staple. One, we're nearly there. Oh, these dresses are great because you can just shove leggings underneath them and they are so comfy. They are great work from home dresses where you feel like you're still dressed for work. But um, I don't know, I've got two. I've got one with a pattern and then one that's a bit more navy. So I might just keep the one out for the 333 challenge. Um, but I'll hang them both up for the moment. That is it. That is it from the seasonal box there's a shoe box in there which i'm a bit intrigued by should we have a look let's see what's in the shoe box um, oh i am going to keep these but how pretty are they so pretty so pretty they are my pageant shoes <laughs> They are my pageant shoes. In theory, I don't plan on competing again, but the other suede ones that are in there that I said I need to work out if I can repair, um, these would replace those when those go. And that can be the other thing. If financial situations have changed, like I said, and you wouldn't, ne you wouldn't want to spend that much on a pair of shoes again or on a dress again, and you have one that's maybe on the way out. So like these, these have definitely got some more life in them. Um, and and just up there, much taller. <laughs> um, oh, they've got a bit of a, a platform in here. Um, these also go nicely for work things, and I'm hoping to try and do some more work things over the winter, like in person speaking again, and get back out doing that. Um, these are a bit more of a summer version, but I would wear that for work because not the actual physical decluttering, but I would wear that for a speaking gig. Um, but they are. Yeah, these need some TLC. So if the TLC doesn't work, I've still got these and they are so pretty. And they were just before COVID. So they have not been used, have not been worn. So I can't say if they're not, they're, I, I mean, they're June, I would sign June, they're not June. So they're going to stay in the box and I will come back to them. And I feel like I've got rid of lots. Oh, so let's move. These bad boys are not, I've definitely not made the 333. Limber up. I'm going to go through. I'm sorry, it's going to get tough. And pull out what's not going to make the three, the 33 items. Should we count them where we've got first one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 43, that's a painted top, actually it's seasonal painted tops, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, there's a gym wear, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. That's not bad. 53 down to 33. 
We've got to get rid of 20 items. So, I mean, they're going to end up packed up in there anyway. So there's those. That's definitely a summer, actually. I love that dress, but it's a summer dress. So, 53. That, oh, I love that. That's, that's, that's a maybe. That's a no. So 53, 52, <laughs> down to 52, we're doing well. Um, this is actually a, um, it's a charity shirt from the Samaritans, which I like doing fundraising for, but I haven't got anything planned over the next few months. I used it for a photo shoot. My daughter and I have matching ones, um, but we're not really doing anything in the foreseeable where we'll use those. So they, that's not gonna make it. That's not making it. 51. <laughs> um, love, love. Not really. Ooh. I tend to wear this more in the. I don't know why I didn't wear it much this summer. I think because we went from zero to nothing, but I do love it and I am keeping it. So, 50. Wear that loads. Wear that loads. So, both of these are and um, it's, it's like summer colors so i don't think that's gonna make the cut um same with that one that's quite a good layer i'm not sure not sure no not sure not sure not sure oh tricky ones uh, this one and this one are two slightly different tops that very much, let's go over here for a change, two slightly different tops that very much serve the same purpose. So this is a wraparound tie and this has a zip. This is slightly thicker, this is slightly cooler and softer. Um, I love them both. I do not want to get rid of both of them. This is a great speaking jacket. So is this. <laughs> this one is more versatile. I'm gonna keep this one out. So. That's a yes. For the moment. Uh, yes for the moment. Yes for the moment. Yes for the moment. Okay. This top has been one of my firm staples for a long time. Bizarrely, I actually wear it a lot in the summer, despite the fact it's a long sleeve newbie. It was from Tesco's like a million years ago. Um nine years old, maybe. Um, which mean? What did I just hang it up? The thing of this. It's starting to do a weird ruching thing at the front here. Like, I need stretching out or something. Like something fibery is going on in there. But uh, I'd like. I think I'm going to move to summer. It's really thin. It's really thin. Let's move to summer. Let's move to summer. Cool, done. I've now lost count. I'm going to take it out. Um, I, love, I love, love, love these trousers. They are so gorgeous. So gorgeous and such a nice length. I think they still fit at the moment. I think these ones are going to be a no. They are like an autumn, they are like a good autumn winter jobby one, smart worky one. They're a maybe, I'll make them a maybe. Let's put you with you. There we go, you can be a maybe. And two pairs of jeans, I only have two pairs of jeans, so <laughs> that's nice and easy. There's a smarter pair and a more casual pair, but they, have a lot of cross purposes so like the more casual one if it's just come out of the wash and i've ironed it will act as a smarter one and the more smart one if it's been worn a few times and it hasn't been in the wash it becomes a more casual one so that's a very easy one um two spotty dresses good for speaking and um, and such and layering and i particularly love this one however Uh, 
south of but I think it's more spring, summer. And if I'm coming out to 33, it's probably not gonna make it, even though it does go into lots of them. Um, it is quite cool, but I think I'm going to say no. Uh, that dress I just wear all the time. It's crazy to not have that one out. Um, oh, this is another one I thought would be a definite yes, but, Again, I don't massively see myself going out in the next three months. I don't think I need, have I got, I think just, I think my only going out one I'm gonna keep out is this one and the red, um, because they're two really cool statement ones. And they'll cover kind of any type of going outy thing, because I can just put a more casual jumper over this and it still serves a purpose and a thing. Um, and I want to see if I wear, so that's going to go, not go, because I love it, I love that dress, but I won't wear it anytime soon. That's a jumper dress that I kind of want to try on again, but it's a nice casual, right, and I love those too, but I don't know if I'm going to keep them both out. Oh, this bad boy. No, I think, I think it will come back out at the beginning of next season. I do like it. It's just a cheap black jumpsuit. I prefer, I prefer it if it had been a navy. If I ever find a navy one of it, I will switch them over. Um, I don't like having too much black. I try and avoid black purchases these days. Um, you know, I just find navy works better with me. So, right, let's see how many we've got down to. Um, we did these one, two, three, four. So, four strappy tops that are good for layers. One, two, three trousers that's four leggings I wear a lot of leggings I mean in theory these are fitness ones but I don't wear them as fitness ones so I can't really count them four four um oh I do really like this put this on a hanger because it's easier to compare so if we've got eight leggings and I'm gonna to have to start doing some maths now, aren't I? We've got eight leggings, and um, no, not leggings, four leggings and eight strappy tops that work well as additional layers. So that's eight. Two pairs of jeans is 10. Let's move the jeans over. The jeans are definitely made for the cut. I can't, I can't do them without jeans. Um, this is, it's actually more of a work. Can I move this into my work <laughs> Um, I wear it for a bit, but let's put it on a hanger so it makes it easier to decide. Um, so you see when I've done, um, and I sometimes do this with clients, I have a big hanging rail that I'll take so we can pull everything out and hang it up. Um, it's not always possible, but we try. And so, da -da -da. I think that's going to go into the spring, into the spring, summer one. Short sleeve, short sleeve. Don't need that one. Okay. Um, this I wear absolutely loads. I absolutely love it. It's soft, it's light, it's comfortable, and it also works as a good layer. So that's a definite yes. So we're at 10, 11. Oh my God, this is really stressful. Really stressful. Um, I don't think we can do winter with that one. So that, oh, that one says 12. Um, 13. We can't do life without work one. 14. Um, the very least is we need to have one of these. Now, do we go spotty or plain? I kind of feel like I want to go spotty. It's got a bit more going on. Um, I have a lot of plain. So let's do that. And this is a maybe. Um, um, I'm looking at what I've kept. I don't really have anything that this would go with. That kind of makes that decision for me. That one can go back there. Um, right. Oh, 
it is really hard. This one I wear loads. It's just like a really comfy skirt. And you can push it over there and it's just super comfy. So that's got to be a yes. That one again. I wear loads, but I wore it loads in the summer. So maybe it would be good to. Oh, and it's starting to go around the top. So that needs that needs a repair. And then I'm gonna take that out of circulation. So this is one of the other things that I find. If you wear it a lot in the summer, but you would wear it in the winter, is pick a season that's gonna be for so that you are mixing things up and you feel like you've got more clothes, uh, more options then. And um, so that's gonna go for a repair and then Purple because it's got big balls on the top of the And um, so, yeah, if you feel like it's got, it's something, oh, well, actually, I do use this a lot. Oh, let me drop down. Um, so, you're like, I do use this a lot. I wear it loads in the summer and in the winter. Is maybe pick a season and decide you're just going to have it in one. Um, and that's a big go to for me in the summer. I'd probably wear it in the winter if it was out, but more of a go to in the summer. So, that's gone. That's gone. Um, I do love yes have we got to eight nine ten eleven twelve which is 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 35. So we're at 35 <laughs> items. That's not too bad, but I really don't feel like I want all of these. Um, tricky. Really tricky. I mean, this is the one that I'm leaning against. I might move this into becoming painty. It's just, I think it's had the best of its time. So what was it from phase eight? I've had it a long time. It's a good winter layer though. Ooh, not good at this. We definitely, let's be, yeah, we need some colour. <laughs> seems to be a lot of colour missing. Let's put that one in there. Yeah, yeah. And apart from jeans, I haven't really got anything I'd wear this with at the moment. I do really like it. Warrant. That's gone. We'll keep it, but it's gone. I think it was one of my first pieces of wreaths that I ever bought. Um, oh, we definitely want to keep that one. So that's gone in. That's a good one. staple one. See, I bought a lot of navy. A lot of navy, like a lot, a lot. So, why don't we get go of one of the navies and go for the slightly brighter blue? <laughs> um, that is a really good staple. That makes anything look smarter. Navy denim skirt. I can't decide on this one. So, how much does that bring us to? That's, that's a navy. That's a navy. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. That would be thirty-three. Oh. And then I've got four maybes. 
it's all looking a bit dark at the moment. Um, hmm. My gut is telling me as much as I love these, I'm just not going to wear them. Um, this side of Christmas and the review, obviously you get a new three after Christmas. So I'm gonna let go of these. My clothes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my coat, wardrobe coat rail could can handle the weight. Uh let's bring we're in the drawers. So we are down to this. Um, no, this is this is a bit. I don't know, something about this is saying, not right now. It's a keep. It's definitely a keep, but it's not for this season. I think that would be good for the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the like items together now so I can see what I've got. So jacket, jumper, 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 jumper. So although this is a jumper, I'm actually, I would wear this as a top. So I'm going to classify that as a top and top skirt. So the skirt's down here. Top, top, cardi, jumper, dresses. Let's put those down this one end. Dress, 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 dress. Skirt. So in theory, could be worn as a dress, but it's just a little bit too short. So that's classifying as a top jumper. A lot of jumpers. I do love a jumper. Like a lot of jumpers. How many jumpers? So many jumpers. One of those I want to try on. So if it does, if I don't, if I'm not happy with it, I'll swap it for the other one of those. So that's smart skirts, trousers, and then those are my tops. A lot of jumpers. A lot, a lot of jumpers. Um, so what did we work out? We got four leggings, four strappy tops. I'm gonna let this one go. This white one. Just looking at the things I've got, it's a bit too high necked for me. So I'm gonna let that one go. So we have three strappy tops, four strappy tops, um, and four leggings. Four and four, so that's still eight. Will I wear all of those? I might take those out. I feel like I wear those more in winter. So I'm going to take those out. So what I'm going to do is the stuff I'm packing up. I'm going to split it into things I might want to circulate in in the next in the next batch of three months and summer. So that takes us down to three and four, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 items. <laughs> Which allows me if there are three items in the wash. So we are down to 30. I'm going to do a, a decluster on my gym kit and stuff at some point, but also that's fine at the moment. So what you can do with long dresses if you want to use a short one. Um, so I want to be able to see, that's one of my reasons I want to move all into one thing, is I want to be able to see. And what I probably could do actually, I might just take the extra shelf out of mine. So if I empty you down here, you've got 
two, I've got two things of shoes, and then I used to have shoes on here, but I've decluttered so many since I got this wardrobe that I could actually take this one out, and um, and then I'd have a bit more hanging space. But the other one that you can do is you take a oh, I can't see you. This one's getting gone. As you take, oh, can't do it very easily. <laughs> I normally do is like lying on the bed as opposed to trying to stand on one foot. So you take another hanger part way down, depending on how long the dress is and how long the wardrobe is, and then you fold it up. So you've got that like that, and that will hang nicely these spaces you can in theory fold it through depending on the neckline of your dress you could fold it through that one as well and that works or you could this dress would work quite well because it doesn't really crease get out of the way belts you could just hang the whole thing like that that's another one but i kind of i like to be able to see my neckline so i'm gonna do mine like that and put that one in there that one's long enough this one needs a second hanger and now I know I'm definitely keeping this one out, so let's put that one through there. And then... Oh, my tummy's grumbling. Must be lunch time. That one there towards the bottom. And there. And the same with this one. Although this one, because it's got just the one shoulder. Tuck that through there. there. Awesome. Wow. 323 wardrobe. Done. Done. So. I. Ooh, so three. I've got 30. I've got three left in theory. And, and it's whether. So I think I'm going to keep these. These are coming out because that would take me over anyway. But I'm going to put these ones back in, particularly this one as it's colour and I've got very little colour going on in here. And that takes me to my 33, but I'll know that those are my three maybes. So if something else pops up that I want to swap it out with, these can be the ones that I go to first to swap it out. So that's short enough to fit in there. Short enough to fit in there. Um, and then you need a second hanger for your bottom. Okay. Awesome. 33 pieces. Wasn't too stressful, she says. <laughs> 33 pieces. Um, so that's my wrong way. That's my 33 items there. And I'll come back on here. Oh, so hopefully I talked you through a few bits and pieces and obviously some different bits, tips and stuff in there. And this was particularly trying to put together a capsule wardrobe. Like the majority, I think because my base there is navy, um, the majority of my stuff will go together, um, which makes it a little bit easier. I have a lot of, like, I have a lot of navy, which is my base layer. Whereas if you have a lot of mixed colours, you probably want to pull them out and put them all together. And um, like the most of those things will go together. Um, I've got, a bit, obviously you can see the mustard yellow jumper, probably wouldn't wear that over the bright pink top. <laughs> But um, the mustard does kind of go with the teal if I pick something from the right shade of teal. So um, there's still that bit of, uh, of flexibility in there. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of navy. Navy is definitely my jam. <laughs> Quite a lot. Definitely my jam. Um, and I still have, yeah, there were still a few bits that I want to get rid of. So I've got a box of extra bits. Um, we still have some more. We're still doing listings and stuff on Vinted at the moment. So I have some more bits that go on there. Um, and um, there might have been one or two things that I probably will just do straight to the charity shop on there as well and put the light on the bit up. Um, oh, oh. Uh, 
one of the things that I will do, so I used to, I don't know if you could tell from when I first opened the wardrobe, but I had that <coughs> approximately the rainbow thing going on. Which for me, I do like, and I think that it depends how you, how your brain works. When you are thinking of something in your wardrobe, do you think, oh, I want to wear that skirt that's blue? Is it the skirt that comes to your mind first or is it the colour that comes to your mind? Whereas my mind is very much colour first. And um, I will be like, oh, yeah, the green. I want to wear, I want to wear teal or I want to wear pink and go to the colour first. And when you've got a large number of items, I either grouping them by type or grouping them by colour. If you've got a huge amount, you can do type and then by colour. Like this is by type. There's probably no point in me grouping it by colour because some of these sections only have three items in and all of them are navy. <coughs> <coughs> um, but actually, because my, I will forget what's in there, even with so few items, what I will probably do with here is mix up the colours because there is so much navy. Like I've got three navy jumpers is I'll actually put one of the colour jumpers between them. And that will help the different navy jumpers to stand out and I will be able to spot them better. So you just need to think about, am I always missing items because all the same colours are together? And if like half your wardrobe like mine is navy, <coughs> sorry, I've got a real tickle in my throat. Um, grouping it by colour is probably not going to help you to spot what you need quickly. So like I said, for this one, I'm going to rearrange them so that the each navy one is broken up with a colourful item, but keep them in, in the groups of jumper, jumper, top, skirt, things, which I've already done. Um, and then I'll just play around with, so the colours break up a little bit easier, um, which will be nice. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to get all my gym kit out another time and just go through all of that and put it all together. Um, at the moment, I'm going to the gym three times a week, so I could probably put together three bundles and be like, these are my three bundles for each of the days um, and just simplify that a little bit more. I would just like it to be a little bit more streamlined and make uh, getting my clothes out the night before a little bit quicker as well. Um, so it depends what you want from your clothes. Some people really enjoy the picking out of their outfits experience. I just want my outfits to serve the purpose they need to. I want to feel good, which for me is predominantly comfort based, but looking presentable, I guess, as opposed to looking good. Um, and particularly with Jim Kerr, it wants to be functional. So I'm going to put look at putting sort of three three looks together um, and then I'll probably pack the rest up. Um, and it means that I can shop. It also means that you can shop from your own stuff. So I don't think all my clothes together, I don't think I have an accessory amount anyway and um, most things get used and circulated but because I want to simplify as much as possible and I don't want to have to buy anything new when I do need something new or if I do get bored of something um, and at the moment we have got the storage space in the loft I might as well box the extra bits up and be like there's there's no reason why I would get rid of this beyond the fact that I've got enough so I'll keep it when something else wears out or I get bored of something else, I'm ready to let something else go. The first place I will shop will be my other box. And um, so my shop box, <laughs> I'm going to have a shop box um, and I'll go there and that'll be the first place I go to find my a new top or a new dress instead of going to a shop, be it secondhand or vintage or whatever. Because I've already got those options there, um, which is also much quicker going into the loft finding the box that's labelled shop box <laughs> and digging through there is much quicker than trying to do anything on Vinted or go around charity shops or buy something new. It's just, yeah, I just go through one box. Um, but I don't want to have to deal with all of those decisions every single day. Um, and that's why I wanted to do Project 333 uh, starting in October. I say for October, but it's three months of so starting in October. Um, and we'll see how we get on. Exciting. Um, I think just because of the climate in the UK, we tend to have a lot of clothes that are all round seasonal. Um, so just deciding, having something like, I'm only going to have this number, or I'm only going to fill this space with this season's ones. And then being like, although this is a dress I can wear all year round, I'm going to make it my winter dress. I'm going to make it my autumn dress. I'm going to make my spring dress, summer dress, etc. And I said, my absolute favourite dress I've now realised is going at the neck. I will be really sad if that dress falls apart completely. So now I've got the time to get it repaired. And I think that I wear that dress so much that it's worth 
me paying to get someone to repair it at some point but I don't need to so actually I think I'll probably pack it away but put it on the top so um here's another fun tip for you and um, I do this when I if we have like like our Christmas jumpers my daughter grew up a Christmas jumper last year instead of trying to sell it then I've put it on the very top of our Christmas decorations so when those come out the first thing I will see is this little bag of things to sell that are Christmas related and I'll get them listed right at the beginning of the, the sort of festive season and um, we tend to get our decorations out about a week before November um so I can get them out then and do that and then um, and sell them then so you could do the same similar sort of concept if you've got things that need repairing but you either have too much on your plate right now to repair them yourself as long as you remember to get them out ahead of time so that you've got enough time to do it then or in the state of that dress I don't want to spend the money right now to get it repaired because I'm not going to wear it right now um and uh yeah I've, I've just got other things I want to spend money on right now um so I will make sure that that's at the top of my seasonal. I will put it in a bag. I will stick a label on it that says need repairing at start of year or start of season or needs repairing in March or whenever it is that I want to do it so that I know to get it out. I mean, you could even be really hardcore and put a notice on your phone. <laughs> um, and I'd also say that for season. So I tend to use the changing of the clocks for doing a proper season around swap. I could have got through October with the wardrobe and the clothes that I had without getting out my seasonal items and then I would have got my seasonal items out and that I would have added into my wardrobe from now uh, from the clocks changing here in the UK which is the end of October through to whenever it changes in March in the March beginning of March sometime in March um it would have got me through to them I'd have had a stuff that bottom base layers that would have survived if we'd had some hot days and I'd have had enough layers to layer up if we'd had some colder days before then but I got mine out a month early this year because I wanted to do this 333 which might be become my new normal I might switch it into a three a three monthly rotation um but if you don't maybe you live in a country that doesn't have the clocks changing or you just don't remember ever is put a reminder an alarm a notification so that it says get remember that seasonal box of clothes because i used to always forget my summer clothes i wouldn't forget to get the winter ones out because i'd be freezing um, but the summer would come and i'd be like oh what i'm to wear and i'd get to the end of august and i'd be like i have a summer box of clothes somewhere i've completely forgotten so have an amazing day we will wrap up there um i knew this one would be a little bit longer some of them will i imagine be a little bit longer than others um some of them will be a little bit shorter but it's aiming to be around an hour so if the actual thing we're doing in that hour doesn't take me an hour i mean i've got to tidy up still um but if it doesn't take me an hour, then we'll also do some chats and things. Um, the full list of the dates and times for these are listed in the Facebook group. Um, so you can spot them there and um, keep track of them. Save the date, put them in the calendar. There's lots of different times. So I'm trying to, I've, I've, I've got an early morning. I've gone as late as I can in the evening on some dates as well. Um, lunch times, later afternoons, mid mornings, lots of different time slots. So hopefully there's something that will work for you. And there is a weekend one or two in there as well uh, but all the replays will be saved too and once I worked out how to do it because I seem to did the first one and then I was having issues trying to get it to do another one is I will download the videos and pop them into the membership and um, just got to work out how all the fun have an amazing day uh join me for the next declutter with me oh should we check what it is that would be good that'd be very good wouldn't it let's have a look let's have a look and what is it? When is it? And what is it? So we have the next declutter with me is tomorrow evening. So the 5th of October, 7.30, and we're doing sentimental boxes. So um, I did my memory box and my daughter's memory box over the summer. Um, I need to get my partner really drunk before he's willing to do his. <laughs> I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. Um, but I have my mum's memory box that I need to do so um that is what we're going to be doing uh, that's what I will be doing while we're talking through sentimental memory boxes tomorrow evening so that'll be fun got a bag of bits that I need to find as well in the loft I found her box but I need to find the other bits um have an amazing day and I will see you soon Ta -ta.